Hi there my dear friends, again it's Kenji here and welcome back to Life of Clay and also welcome to all our new viewers out there. Today we will be sculpting the western black widow spider, Latrodectus hesperus. And before we begin, please consider subscribing and turn on that little bell icon so you won't miss out any of our future videos. So without further ado, come bring the clay on and let's begin. And I would like to thank Dexter Iban in recreating our logo. He successfully did what I wanted it to be and if ever you are interested too, you can find his contact in the description section down below. Thank you so much bro! I first draw a sketch of this western black widow, knowing how many segments her legs has and to understand her general anatomy. The western black widow spider is a venomous spider species found in western regions of North America, known for its hourglass-shaped red mark on her lower abdomen that in rare occasions this mark can be yellow or white. In building their webs, Latrodectus strands are no apparent organization and messy compared to other spiders. Next is building her armature using aluminum foil that I form into two balls, a big and a small one, fused together and reinforced with bronze wire, wrapping around some masking tape to secure the foil. And let's begin sculpting the opistosoma, or her abdomen. Sculpy original is what I use. Cover the abdomen and shape it based on the reference. Adding subtle fur texture and let's proceed in adding details of its underside. What I'm detailing here now is her anus, spinnerets, book lungs, and epigenome or her genital. And in this case, we are making the female. The actual size of the female is approximately 1.5 inches and the male is only half of her size. Female black widow have potent venom containing neurotoxin active against a range of mammals. In human, symptoms to this venom include pain, nausea, goosebumps, and localized sweating. Fatalities are very small in number or none at all. 2,200 people report being bitten by this spider but most do not need medical treatment. Some bites have no venom injected, a dry bite as they called. And let's do the first baking. We can now proceed in sculpting her prosoma, where legs, glycerae, and pedipalps are attached. I use Sculpey Premo in this part for durability, since it will hold all the mentioned parts. Adding all the details from sternum, carapace, and foveal groove. And you know guys, after courtship, female black widows devour and eat her male partner to add nourishment for her developing eggs inside her. But sometimes male is lucky to escape after mating and can live for another day. Poking the areas for the legs, so drilling will be easy later. Next is sculpting her tiny 8 eyes that is arranged in two rows. And after that, let's do the second baking.
Now we're drilling all the poke holes and prepare the legs using 0.8mm bronze wire. I sanded the tip to make it rounded. Now we can start sculpting the legs. I use a Sculpey Premo for this one. Form into a long noodle of clay and flatten it. Covering the wire except for the metatarsus down to the tip and start shaping them. Now that all the legs are done, let us now bake them. I use super glue in attaching all the legs. And finally, adding the coxae or the first joints of each legs. Brush it with alcohol and do the final baking. And now we will make her pedipalps. I use a plastic bristles for it, burning the tips lightly to make them rounded and then trim. Attach them to the spider using super glue. For the painting process, I cover it first with pure black and did two coatings of it. And after that, I mix burnt shenna with little black to give her legs and ventral the brownish coloration. And I combine yellow ochre, burnt shenna, and titanium white in painting her book lungs. Bush yellow and bright red for the hourglass mark under her abdomen. Retouching her calicera and eyes with black paint. And finally, sealing it with gloss water based polyurethane varnish.
And there we go, our Western Black Widow Spider is finally done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and may you find some of my techniques be useful in building your projects as well. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. And again, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell icon for more future videos. Have a great day, everyone!